I'm Cape Joel and this is Comic Smack, the weekly comic show where we take closer, more in-depth looks at the coolest and most happening comic book storylines going on currently. And on today's show, we're going to be looking at a Suicide Squad Most Wanted Deadshot and Katana issue number two. What is the dark history of Floyd Lawton? Well, let's hop on into this newest issue and find out together, shall we? Alright, so in a weird change around from last issue, the Katana story actually comes first and the Deadshot story comes second. As it's the Deadshot story that I'm really here for, I'll try and, you know, paraphrase the Katana one. Basically, she continues to fight the Cult of the Cobra, she does really good at first until she doesn't do so good. We see some stuff with her ghost husband and the magic of the sword, and it ends in, well, actually kind of a shocking way, the Suicide Squad, including Deadshot, shows up in this story. So, okay, I guess it does make sense to pack these two books together. Also, hey look, Enchantress is here making her new 52 appearance just in time for the movie. And also, Heatstroke and Cold Snap, two losers from the Masters of Disaster. How fun. Now, the proper story, as in the Deadshot story, begins with Amanda Waller mulling over whether or not she should blow Floyd's collar now that he's gone AWOL. We see Deadshot return to his childhood home, a wealthy manor house. It's at this point that he goes out of his way to monologue about how that origin he told, the origin that was told to us in the Villains Month issue, yeah, that was one giant lie because he wasn't ready to come to terms with his actual history. What is his true secret origin? Well, it's just his old 52 origin story, literally. Uh, his father was an abusive alcoholic, his mother was no better. The only person he did get along with is his older brother, who sheltered and protected him from the two abusive parents. Only, when the father comes close to almost beating the good brother to death, Floyd decides to take it upon himself to kill his dad. Bad. Only his small, shaky child hands can't quite grip the rifle, and because of that, the bullet misses the dad completely and ends up shooting the brother that he loved. His parents utterly disowned him for this action, but now, all these years later, Floyd has returned to his father on his deathbed, and oh boy, does he have some words for daddy not so dearest. Deadshot says he can't let his father die like this because he swore up and down if he ever saw him again, he would kill him himself. Just the sight of his son actually causes Mr. Lawton to die of a heart attack then and there, which makes Floyd very angry that he never got a chance to kill him. But guess what? This dark story gets even darker. It's here that Mom actually starts laying into Floyd, saying that he's a loser, that he's no son of hers, etc, etc. Floyd fires back by saying that if his mother had any guts, she would have killed the old man a long time ago, instead of giving him the rifle as a kid. Oh, wow. You, you people need Jesus, or Springer, or something. And then Deadshot kills his elderly mother before before he leaves. Goo, the hits just keep on coming. What could they possibly do to top any of this? Oh, I don't know. Maybe on his way out, he sees a picture of his daughter. Yeah, apparently his parents were in contact with his young daughter, and now he's furious, wondering what on earth they possibly could have told her about him. FYI, this is the first time in the entire New 52 we are ever hearing that Floyd Lawton has a daughter. As the comic winds down, Amanda Waller thinks to herself that it wouldn't be worth destroying such a valuable acid as Deadshot, not when she can send the rest of the Suicide Squad team to bring him back, alive or dead. Man, what a long and winding road the character of Floyd Lawton has had, from being a kind of handsome guy in the beginning of the New 52, to growing back his ugly 70s porn stash, to essentially just getting his entire old 52 origin back and stuffed into this one issue. Is Suicide Squad Most Wanted number 2 doing this only because that's probably going to be Will Smith's origin for the new movie? Movie. Yeah, and you know what? I have no problem for that. Every so often, the movie slash TV show slash whatever do uh, influence the comics in a pretty positive way, and I would count this to be one of those very positive ways. I finally have Floyd Lawton, one of my favorite pieces of shit, back to the way I always loved him. I give this one a very positive 8 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll feel like checking out some more videos I have on offer here at Cape Jewel.